Hello TCG history fans, it is time for some Zatch Bell. Shout out to Speed Robo, the greatest Zatch Bell card game fan there is. And uh, we're opening a Supremacy Collection box. And this was really hard for me to open because it looks so good sitting on a shelf. But we must crack some booster packs. So let's get right into it. And here it is. Our Zatch Bell, the card battle, Supremacy Collection, created by Bandai. Uh, I was almost not going to open this because I think the box actually looks really, really pretty. And I kind of wanted it to sit on my shelf forever. But we got to document these types of things, you know? Uh, this box is so good looking, though. As you can tell, they do a lot extra with it. There's gold foiling on a bunch of the text, and there's like a holographic like foil to most of the box it's really nice looking and just well put together uh, so you can see we get one exclusive spell book it's orange i like orange that's pretty awesome uh, we get a, an exclusive momoto card and we get four booster packs two of set one and two of set two and i've actually never opened set two before so that's kind of going to be fun i did open a ton of set one a long time ago uh, here's the back of the box. Somehow even prettier than the front. Uh, obviously you're getting some reflection from my set because it's still in its cellophane, but it looks fantastic. Uh, Zatch Bell, the card battle, Supremacy Collection, includes... Yeah, 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 we just went over that. Uh, you can add for set two, collect all 111 cards in Booster Series 2, the supreme power of the golden spell. It says here, the adventure continues. Every thousand years, 100 Momoto descend upon Earth from the Momoto world to engage in the ultimate battle. Each Momoto needs a human partner to activate the powerful spells contained in their spell books. In Zash Bell, the card battle, you are one of these humans. Construct your spell book and join the battle for control of the Momoto world. I'll be sure to do that. Uh, well, there's there's nothing like on the sides or top or bottom really. Like, ooh. So now it's time to break the seal. Ooh, I almost don't want to. Uh, I have now sliced into it. No going back. Peel this off so you can get an even better look at how cool the box is. Oh yeah, look at that. How cool is that? They even took the liberty of putting gold leaf foil on the picture of the book. That's some good attention to detail. Also, it's limited edition. Ooh. A, oh, look at that. It slides right off. That's such good packaging. Why don't, why doesn't like, you know, Pokemon does boxes like this all the time nowadays. Why don't they do this? This is genius. Uh, set the front of the box down. I don't think they're, yeah, it's literally just a white cardboard box underneath, so nothing fancy. We're gonna grab out our, all of our booster packs. We're gonna grab out, oh, that I'm gonna have to pull from the back side. Let's see if we can get Pony gone. Come, Pony gone. Look at him. Such a good boy. Look, very nice. Uh, don't ask me if this is, you know, rare or anything. I assume they printed quite a few of these boxes back in the day. Um, but it is an exclusive card, so I didn't have this. I don't know if it, it's just exclusive artwork or if it's actually, the effect is unique to this, but it's quite nice. I like it. I'm always a fan of rare, interesting, unique promotional cards. Here is our spell book. If you don't know, Zatch Bell uses these little spell books and you put your cards inside of them. And it's basically like a little one sleeve per page binder, but it actually plays a role in gameplay as you flip through your binder to get new spells during the game. It's really quite unique and cool and interesting. And if you want to play it, don't, but you should instead play Card Battle Spirit Link because it's a spiritual successor to this. AKA, definitely not a total ripoff that's better, but you should 
play card battle spirit link and i'm not saying that because a close friend of mine created it <laughs> it is good uh so here's both sides have the gold foiling on them plus the uh, spine also does uh that's a pentagram can't show that i'm gonna have to fork it center that uh it says zatch bell there that's cool it doesn't say that on this side and uh we'll be able to fill it up very nice and our booster packs. Now, I'm going to jump cut uh, because one, I have to get some nice pretty B-roll of each of these pack designs because I'm a hoarder of pretty B-roll footage. And two, to get a better camera angle for you guys to enjoy the cards up close. Okay, I am back and I've got everything out of the packaging. Got some pretty pictures. I did notice that this uh, this Ponygon is a little damaged from the corners from where it was held in. It's a little bent, but it's not too bad. Uh, and it's cool, so. And then we have our spell book. Very nice, very nice. Uh, it's empty currently, but we'll fill it up with some powerful spells. But the idea is take your spells. This isn't a spell, but. Slide them in, and the game, this is like your deck, but it's pre a preset order. It's cool. So like Porygon here, Porygon, I did that before, didn't I? Ponygon here uh, says, let me get it in focus, uh, turn a page of your opponent's spell book during your battle phase. This effect can be played only once per turn. Very nice. Pretty interesting. Uh, I love the look of these books, though. Like, obviously they're not full size like they would be. You know, they're not true to life size, but they're designed for the card game. But cool prop, anyways. Uh, so we have four booster packs: two of set one here, and two of set two. And I've never even seen a card from set two, but I've opened plenty of set one. Uh, I used to get this for whatever reason, only the red pack. But I used to get them at the dollar store when I was a kid, a couple years after the game died. Uh, and I've bought a couple lots of it since then. Uh, I don't know if the pack specify like the print run, because I know there's some quality issues with later reprints of this. So, some expert on the game, please let me know in the comments. Speed, shout out to Speed Robo, the expert on this card game. Um, he'll help me, I'm sure. Uh, look at that. Gavriel. Uh, I have this card. In foil, too. Look at that. It's a foil. So your foil is just right up in the front. Uh, is that a rare? Can't see it on camera. Oh, that's common. Common. Then a foil. And then Duck Boy. He's a rare. Uh, let me, let me fix my focus just a little bit. Get it a little nice and sharp. Ooh, there we go. Alright, see, see down at the bottom is rarity. That's pretty cool looking. Iron Gabriel, Lori, best friends. Zaruk, can we pull friendship curry? My favorite card. Rice. No friendship curry in that pack. Is there friendship curry in this pack? Because friendship curry is my favorite card in the game. Um, so, uh, spoilers for whenever I do get to doing the Zatch Bell episode. Uh, friendship curry is my favorite card. These packs feel very tight. They're, uh, they remind me a lot of Naruto packs, which I guess makes sense. Hey, uh... Look at that. Look at that. That's actually a really cool looking foil. And there's Yopopo. Glory. <laughs> Yellowtail. That's a that that's a good one. Look at that. Gain two MP and it costs zero. How how can you not go and pick that and put all the copies in your deck? All of them. Uh, we have two more packs, but first, there it is. Let's uh, let's just uh, protect it. 
All right, set two. I've never seen these cards before. So this will be fun. Poriot. Is there a foil? Uh, ga ga Galant. Galliant? Galliant. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry about my pronunciation. It's been over a decade since I've watched Ash Bell, so. <laughs> Duck Boy! Uh, that one's interesting. Tia? T Taya? I'm just gonna stop pronouncing things because I will trigger someone. Oh my gosh. Nya? Oh my gosh. I love it. That's adorable. Why couldn't we get a foil of this? No, we get this stupid thing instead. Giganto Burrell. Bur Bur Shut up. Sherry? Come out. Uh, okay. Peruk. Combination. And our last card is Freddo. Cool. Well, guys, uh, let me know how many, how many, how many yellow tails should I put in my book? How many? And that's all I have for you guys today. So I will see you guys next time. Make sure to like, comment, YouTube these stuff. And uh, of course, use our TCG Player affiliate link if you'd like to help uh, you know, keep the show running and allow me to buy more product to document the history of for you guys. And I'll see you next time.